welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for Scorpio. And for those who have Scorpio placements, check your chart. Cross watchers, as always, you're welcome here. Keep in mind that energy is fluid, so the, vote, the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed, but never force a reading. If this is for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force a reading, guys. I'm actually going to pull some oracle messages to see what this reading will entail. Show me the messages, please, for Scorpio in love. What does Scorpio need to see? What does Scorpio need to see? That one to come out. So here we go. There's a need for you. I feel like in your connection, there's some healing that needs to be done. An opportunity to, re to rebuild a connection is requiring healing, right? So in order to rebuild this, something has to be like, you have to sit with something and process it. You can't just sweep it under the rug. You or your person, somebody here may be doing that and they're being encouraged not to do that. Like if you gotta, you gotta face the healing. With the moving on, I feel like, if someone moves on from a situation or a person, we'll find out which one it is. It'll bring someone closer to the other person, okay? Some situation needs to be moved on from. I'm getting with the giving and receiving. This is like about someone feeling valued. It's being crowned by daydreams and decisions. Someone is in the head about something here. Let me find out why this is crowning. To clarify this daydreams and decisions, refusing to see something. Yeah. Somebody's refusing to see something here. They're in their head about something. That could be keeping them from really showing their person that they value them. All right? They may be taking their person for granted or it's coming off as if they're taking their person for granted because of whatever it is that they're in their head about. And it's just like, nah, you really, this really needs requires your attention. Somebody here is just so stubborn and resistant. They're not willing to see things through their person's eyes. All right. So, yes, there's something here that can be rebuilt, but it is requiring healing. So we're going to go into the tarot to find out exactly what that is. All right. Show me the messages, please. What are the messages for Scorpio? Show me Scorpio's current situation in love. Ugh. That's why there's something that needs to be moved on from. First card out the deck is the devil. Capricorn energy. You could be you could be connecting with a, a Capricorn. Or it could be any sign. All right. Don't be so focused on the signs. I'll show you what shows up, but if the reading resonates, then it's for you. Yeah, there's slow healing from a toxic situation that's going on here. With the magician reverse, somebody here was playing mind games with the other person. And um, I still feel like this person hasn't really learned from their past mistakes. And that's why I got refusing to see, because it's like, you, there's somebody here, again, that wants to feel valued, that needs to feel valued, that needs to feel reciprocity from their partner, but their partner's refusing to see something. It's like lacking accountability for something is what I'm getting. So there's like, there's slow process in moving forward from something. And that's why I swear it's like, move on. If you move forward, you know, it'll bring you guys together. There's a need to put in the work for something. It's gonna require a lot of patience and hard work to get through whatever this is. Show me the messages, please, for Scorpio. When the cards come out sideways, I put it back. I only read uprights and reversals. Damn. All right, I gotta read them because they came out. Somebody in this connection feels like they're being manipulated, but they're not really trying to listen to the intuition. The intuition is trying to tell them that they're being manipulated about something. And I, again, I feel like it's connected to a, a 
toxic situation that you guys need to move forward from. But there's manipulation here for the second time that the high priest is in reverse and the magician reversed. Somebody. It's like someone's trying to pull themselves together and trying to like get past something, learn from the past, something that happened. Like their fear came true about something. Somebody was being reckless. There may be some money problems here with somebody being un unstable and reckless. Please be very mindful in regards to any shady investments. Now I have the Ten of Swords upright, yep. Something happened in the past that you're trying to learn from, okay? For me to get the Ten of Swords reversed and upright, there was something where somebody felt betrayed by their person here. They felt stabbed in the back. They felt let down. It was like, this is, it almost destroyed this connection. Like, that was it. That was a known the coffin. Like, it was a rock bottom moment that you guys are still trying to recover from. But again, it's slow process. A slow process. It's slow progress here. All right? There's a lot of strong Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. You can be connecting with those signs. It's slow to heal because that toxicity is still there. Because someone is not holding themselves accountable. Okay. Show me. When the cards come out sideways, I'll put them back. It was connecting to this Queen of Swords Reverse. Something there. Show me the breakdown of this connection. So the cards tell you what they want you to know. So... Look how that flipped around. Isn't that crazy? Again, the high priestess reversed. Somebody here is not listening to the intuition. They're ignoring the intuition and they're being manipulated. Okay? Something was a poor decision in the past. Somebody's not willing to take a leap of faith now. Somebody's holding back. They're holding back, but they're not listening to the intuition. They're holding back a little bit, but they feel like they've, there's some sort of resistance here. Then the Empress is here. Why is the Empress here? The Empress, somebody, oh, a wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups and the Empress. Somebody may be pregnant. Look at these. Somebody found out that they were pregnant recently. Congratulations. This is not going to resonate with all of you. Could be connecting with the Libra. This was like somebody who had challenges and this is like, they feel fulfilled now. They feel happy about this, but they're still holding back about something that they feel. Why is there resistance with your partner if you have this nine of cups? Show me the breakdown. Why is there still resistance? You could be connected with another Scorpio or a Pisces or a Cancer. Show me the messages, please. Show me the breakdown here. Um, again, the Queen of Swords reversed for a second time. There's definitely somebody like an ex, a child, or children's mother, somebody that disrupted this connection. Okay? And Queen of Swords reversed, it's, again, the cause is not gender based. This could be a man or a woman, but somebody's ex somehow was involved with you or your person. And it caused a breakdown in this connection. Like there was something malicious happening behind the scenes with somebody you couldn't trust this person. And with the Page of Cups here, there's somebody here that has like childhood issues. They are very unstable. This could be your person. But the thing is with this Ace of Swords, I feel like you got clarity in this situation. This You're not in this meeting trying to figure out what happened. You know what happened. If this is your reading, this is a collective. It could be different for everyone, but it will resonate. You're like, I know exactly what that's about. It came through. Whatever that was, you realize the truth about something connected to this Queen of Swords reverse in your person, in their instability. Okay? So that was that's what caused the breakdown here. <sighs> Cards come out sideways. I do not read them. I only read uprights and reversals. Look at that. It's crazy. Okay. Somebody's very stubborn here, too. Yeah, somebody um like made a really bad decision. Like they didn't see something through. There might have been some sort of bad business investment or a bad decision with money. Something that they didn't see through with money. It could have been with this Queen of Swords reverse. A poor financial decision. 
Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody here. This is again. I feel like you pull back your emotions from your person. I got the Queen of Cups in reverse twice. Okay, someone here is a little resistant, a little self protected, a little guarded. They feel like they did. They overgave to their person, and now like I feel like your person is in a position where they have to earn back your trust. Some of you may be going through some temporary financial hardship. I'm getting temporary. Be careful how you're spending your money, how you're investing your money. You can be connected with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Show me this. Yeah, I told you I feel like you're guarded from your person. With the Queen of Cups reverse and the Seven of Swords. It's like you're in a relationship where there's still some resentment from something that happened and you still don't fully trust your person but some of you just found out that you're having a baby with this person but there's still some issues here that need to be resolved show me um scorpio's person's feelings for scorpio what is scorpio's oh my god this flew all the way over here wow your person loves you show me the messages show me scorpio's person gotta take what comes out Somebody here is still looking out for themselves, though. Your person may have an addiction. It could be alcohol or drugs or porn or anything. Something that they're overindulging in. They may be getting bad advice from somebody. Again, this person is still looking out for themselves. With the Page of Pentacles, I feel like <laughs> this person is saying, you know, they're someone who's saying they want to learn about their issues and be somebody that you can count on, but they're not bringing a lot to the table with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles to me is, I get the feeling almost like breadcrumbing energy. They're doing just enough, but this person does love you with the Two of Cups. Some of you may even be married to this person. Why is the Six of Wands here? It's like there could be a victory between this you and your person but it's going to require a lot of hard work. They feel that you're guarded. They feel the guarded energy from you. They feel you're being protected. They feel that you don't trust them completely, but they want they want a victory with you. They want this to work. That's what I'm getting. Show me the messages, please. Show me their feelings for Scorpio, please. Yeah, Ace of Cups is here. This person... This person might have recently poured out some emotions to you with the ace of cups they might have said some things they normally don't say or just got really emotional very very intense emotions i'm telling you some of you got um some of you are having a baby that could be because of the pregnancy announcement again if you're if you're in my don't be my comment saying it can't be me i'm 73 years old if it is then it's not for you this is a very direct message i'm pulling on a lot of different energies and one of them is somebody being happy about this pregnancy but with the high high the hierophant reverse it's like there's still some foolishness going on here this person is still having their challenges committing to a traditional relationship traditional lifestyle of the relationship um they're having some sort of commitment issue. It's because of their lifestyle I'm getting. It could be connected with a Taurus. But they're in love with you and whatever. They're happy about this. For some of you, they're happy about this pregnancy. For those of you who, if it's not a pregnancy, but I definitely have to call that. For some of you, it's just a new beginning. And even though it has its challenges and this person feels guard, you're, that you're still guarded from them, they're still happy that they have another chance. Show me... Um, Scorpio's feelings for their person. What is Scorpio's feelings for their person? Yep, you are hesitant. You don't really trust your person and their intentions. It's weird because you're in this relationship, but you don't trust them. There's a lack of growth here, you feel. You still feel insecure about the connection. And you feel like your person is very arrogant. Their plans are not realistic. Um, and I get this energy of like, you feel like this person, they always promise you a lot, but they never deliver. Like you're constantly getting disappointed by this person. That's why the Ace of Wands Reverse is also here because you're like, you're kind of hesitant. Like there's a new beginning here. You're in it, but you're still guarded. Okay. I can, you'll be connecting with um, an Aerial Leo or Sagittarius. There's a lot of fire here, a lot of passion between the both of you. I also have Libra energy here. A lot of passion. 
when it's good, it's great. When it's bad, it's fucking terrible. But with the Eight of Wands reversed, it's like... You're like, you feel like things are moving kind of fast all of a sudden. And like, you're trying to slow it down because you're trying to catch up to how you feel about this person. Again, that guarded energy. Because you haven't really fully recovered for what they, you know, whatever happened. Because, and you feel like there's something that there's, they're not accountable for. And that's, a, that's frustrating for you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, for some of you, there might have been like um, somebody in and out, abandoning the connection, ghosting the connection and returning is what I'm getting. Like your person makes very hasty decisions. They act impulsively on their feelings, but they, they leave only to come back. And when I say leave to come back, it could be to take a freaking walk or it could be like, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't see this person or hear from them from days or y'all just be on the outs. Some of you just be in the same household under the same roof and be at a distance. And you just feel like isolated from your person and vice versa. They're like, they pull back, they come back in. With the Queen of Swords, it's like you have to be clear about your wants and needs when it comes to this kind of person. And your thoughts need to dominate your feelings. Because your emotions are dominating your feelings right now. And that's why you're like resenting this person. And like you're missing out on this new beginning. Because you haven't healed from something from the past. That you guys need to sit with, process, and release. All right, show me, show me the challenges for Scorpio in regards to this connection. What are Scorpio's challenges when it comes to their person? You feel conflicted. You feel burdened. You feel conflicted. I had the five of, of wands and the seven of cups reverse. It's like you're seeing things for what they are and you're like, damn, I've made some poor decisions in this relationship and your person made some poor decisions in this relationship is what you feel. And you're like, you can't deny that. So even though you're in this new beginning, you guys still have some drama between you two. There's still this conflicting energy. It's like every time you try to talk about what it is that's bothering you, it turns into an argument is what I'm getting. And oops, excuse me. And that's why you're feeling burdened and taken for granted. There's a lot of stress. You feel like there's a lot waiting on your um, shoulders. You kind of feel restricted, um, and some of you feel like obligated to be with this person because you're in a situation where you have you're invested in each other. It could be financially, um, it could be property wise. It could be the fact that you have a child or children with this person or for some of you who are about to, you know, and you're like, now you're locked in for real. So your challenge is, is to get out of this conflicting energy. Show me the messages. Show me advice. Your challenges is, is like. It's like you've gotten clarity on a situation and you see what was the bad decisions, what was the poor choices, but you still feel conflicted. So your challenge is to really get clarity across the board, to release, to process your feelings and release them. What advice do we have for Scorpio? Because you can't move, you know, you guys, you can't, that's crazy what I just did. You can't really move on if you if you have something it's hard to move on from something that you're still holding on to. But in order to heal, you have to be willing to move forward. That's the only thing that's going to bring you two together. It's really going to require rebuilding this connection at the tower moment and healing whatever went wrong. But it also requires this person to get out of their head and see things for what they are. And now, the more that I'm reading this, Scorpio, I feel like this could be your energy as well. Like, there's something you're refusing to see here about someone that you want to feel taken down, you want to feel valued by, but there's something that you're not willing to see. That too, okay? Um, but I got the Six of Cups, the Six of Pentacles here, which is the same thing as this giving and receiving card. Give me a second, guys. Show me why the Six of Pentacles is here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? 
again, there's a desire to want to feel valued from your person. You want to feel like they, you know, they're showing up for you as just the way you're show. You've been showing up for them. The two of cups reverse. You feel disconnected from your person. Um, there's an emotional separation here. Show me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Some of you might have just gotten a new job or some sort of investment together that you and your person just started with the Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Or are you trying to manifest stability and security in this connection? Yeah, this person betrayed you and you still don't really fully trust them. But you're with them. Somebody's giving you advice, King of Cups. This could be a man or a woman. This person is very emotionally mature, very emotionally stable. Some of you may be in therapy. Listen to this person. They're giving you good advice. You're being put to the test is what I'm giving, getting with the lover's card. The energy that I'm getting is right now you feel on the fence. Are you trying to make a major decision in love and you're being put to the test? But you do feel like this is your soulmate and that's why it's so hard. For some of you with the three of cups reverse, you're trying to figure out is it is it the right thing to do to to you know create a family with this person? Show me advice. Sometimes when I ask for advice, the cards will show me the situation more before they give the advice. What advice do we have for Scorpio? Show me the advice that you have. Just wanted to come in. You're having a very hard time letting it go of something with this four of pentacles. You feel like you can't trust your person. You feel like they're giving you an illusional relationship. But the ace of cups is here. God, some of you are having a baby. This the ace of cups is about fertility, pregnancy. You feel like you're having a baby or a new beginning with somebody that you can't trust. Two of swords, on the fence, difficult decision. Should I stay? Should I go? Deep-seated issues. And it's just like, for some of you who are pregnant, it's like, this is not changing the issues that you feel that you guys have in a relationship. Again, you love each other, but you're like, what should I do? You need to make a decision. There's a need for you to make the decision on your own. You have to use your discernment. Show me advice. The Four of Cups in Reverse is like the same energy I was talking about. You got to let go of the regret and the stuck energy that you're in that's draining you. You got to sit with your feelings, process them, and release them. Okay? That is the advice. Because the Ten of Cups Reverse is like there's, like, there's a lack of security and stability in this connection. It's dysfunctional. It's There's love here, but there's also dysfunction. I got the Two of Swords twice upright, guys. The cards don't lie. You have to make a decision. You have to use your dis your, your discernment. It is, is it easy? Hell no. This is not an easy decision. Um, you could be connecting with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. I got strong air energy here. Show me more advice for Scorpio. Uh, show me more advice. You feel stuck. You're not stuck, Scorpio. Eight of Swords. You have the ability to get yourself out of this situation. You just feel powerless and silenced. But you're not. Queen of Swords. You need to, again, your thoughts need to dominate your feelings. You need to stand on what it is that you need and want from this person. You can get yourself out of this. Communicate with this person. Four of Cups in reverse again for the second time. Sit with yourself. Process your feelings. And release them. Talk to this person. A decision needs to be made. And only you can make that decision. All right? Again, there is an opportunity to rebuild this. But it's requiring you and your person to be on the same page. My goodness, my world is opening up. Give me a, a second, guys. All right, before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some messages from the universe. Show me the messages I need to see. The Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to see in love? What does Scorpio need to see in love? A lot of, look at all these swords, all this air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What does Scorpio need to see in love? If if you didn't get something you really wanted at this time, if you feel stuck or feel like things are not going according to your plans, know that something bigger and better is coming. It is something filled with divine magic that couldn't come into your life if you were to receive what you were asking for now. 
this is, I feel like for some of you, there's that new emotionally beginning. There's some sort of investment coming in between you and your person. You might've recently invested something together, but a house is not a home. So you have to be happy in whatever property that you have, or you still, you know, if you're not happy there, it doesn't matter if it's a beautiful home. I mean, a beautiful house. It has to be a beautiful home. If a beautiful apartment, it has to be a, it has to feel like home. Okay. So, um, but there's something beautiful. There was a wish fulfillment. And this is still something that's beautiful, you know? There's something wonderful that's coming on, in the way, on your way. So don't, don't be so focused on the present that you forget that there's so many beautiful things ahead of you. If you are worried you don't have the strength to move on, think of how much strength you are using to hold on. Then redirect that energy and enjoy your life. Yeah, so if you decide to stay, you have to move on regardless. You either have to move on from the situation or you have to move on from the partnership. Whatever it is, it's requiring you to move on to rebuild your life. Okay, one day when you least expect it, you are going to crash into someone who is going to be so soft and gentle with your heart, and you are going to be so glad that you kept it open. You are going to be so glad that you chose to believe it deserved more. Okay, for some of you that you're on the fence and you feel like it's best for you to move forward, just, you know, just understand that don't stay in a situation that you're not happy in because you feel like you can't do better. If you've really made up your mind and you're like, I really want to leave, but I'm afraid I'm not going to do better, then just know that that card was telling you that it, it will be better. You do have options. So you can either work on this connection and make it better, but it's going to take two of you, or you can move on and be happy. This stressful situation is almost coming to an end. We are sending positive energy, financial help, miracles, and life-changing blessings your way. Yeah, the universe is with you on this, okay? And you're not going to feel stressed for long, but you have to get things moving again in order to feel better. Meet the universe halfway. No act of kindness is ever wasted. Some of the kindest people you will ever meet have been through hell and back themselves. That strengthens their compassion and empathy. If this is describing you, keep being the beautiful soul that you are. Okay? In relationships, the biggest thing you must look for is consistency. Every time you forgive someone who is not being consistent with you, you are giving them permission to hurt you again. You deserve better. You deserve better. Again, Scorpio, I cannot make this decision for you. You have to make this decision. All I can tell you is whether this King of Cups is male or female, they're giving you excellent advice. Take heed to whatever it is that they're saying. All right? So those are the messages that I have for you for this reading, Scorpio. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. I Again, if you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.